Hello everyone. The Google Security MCP servers allow customers to interact with Google SecOps, both SIM and SOAR, Security Command Center or SCC, and Google Threat Intelligence or GTI using various agentic workflows. In this video, we demonstrate how to run a pre-built ADK-based agent for these MCP servers locally, how to deploy and secure the agent on Cloud Run and on Agent Engine. We also cover agent space registration. And if you have your own MCP servers to integrate, the video shows how to do that as well. Please remember uh, that we are adding new features every day. So some of the steps shown in the demo might have changed, but the documentation has the latest set of instructions that you need. In the first demo, we are going to run the agent with security MCP servers locally. First demo is the local agent with some new features. Here is the repo uh, for Google SecOps SIM and SOAR, SCC and Google Threat Intelligence MCP servers. And here is the pre-built ADK agent documentation. I'm going to be using this documentation for all the demos. All right, so the steps carried out for the local run are cloning the repository, creating the Python environment, installing dependencies, updating the environment variables and running the ADK agent command. We're doing that now. And since I'm running on the cloud shell here, I will be using the web preview. Locally, uh, you can just use uh, the localhost 8000 link. And now here we are interacting with the locally deployed agent. Next up, let's check out the signed URLs functionality which you can use to share reports generated by the agent with your team. Again, I'm using the relevant sections in the documentation for extra parameters required for this. So the agent has generated a summary and we are asking it to write into a file. Now we just stopped and restarted our agent and now notice that we can use our previous sessions still and now let's go and get a link or a signed link. Uh, for the file that we created in the previous session. Here's the link and the file is now available for a limited amount of time uh, and can be shared with anyone. Let's go ahead and access it. Now, if you want to make the agent available to your team members, you need to deploy it. We support both deploying it as a cloud run service and deploying it in agent engine. In the demo 2, we are going to deploy and secure the agent on Cloud Run. Okay, so let's go ahead and deploy on the Cloud Run again using the documentation. Deployed, let's access. Okay, now let's secure our service access using IAM. We are doing that now by providing Cloud Run Invoker role to the users from the Cloud Run console itself.
Now the service can only be accessible by using local proxy and only by the allowed principles or users. Demo 3 is for deploying the agent uh, to the Vertex AI agent engine, uh, which is a suit of uh, features for discovering, building and deploying AI agents. Again, using the documentation to run the AE deployment or AE deploy run command. Let's verify our deployment in Cloud Console. The deployment script already creates a session for a test user. Now let's run our custom UI to access the agent engine deployment. Now we can create a new session or new user session too, but I'm using the same session created by the deployment, which is for the test user. Next up, let's interact with our agent. Notice that our agent engine agent is also responding like our previously deployed agents on Cloud Run, as well as locally deployed agents. We deployed our agent to the agent engine, but now let's register it to the Google agent space where you can consolidate all your agents and agentic applications along with the knowledge needed uh, for these agentic applications. We do that in this demo. Now we are going to register the agent engine agent on the agent space. Now this is so that we can share it with our team and we don't have to use custom UI, right? The first step is to create the agent space application. Let's go ahead and do that. Now the documentation already has the steps to add agent deployed on agent engine to this application. So using that documentation, I have created two scripts, deploy.sh and list.sh. Let's run them and then verify our registration. So we have registered and verified the agent engine agent with agent space. Let's go ahead and use it. Going to the agent engine app then to integration and then we get a link from there and let's open that in an authenticated tab
and there's our agent engine agent let's interact with it what if you wanted to bring your own mcp servers to this agent we show how to do that in the demo 5 if you have any third party mcp servers you can extend the agent functionality by integrating those mcp servers we have provided a couple of mcp servers for reference one for xdr and another one for idp these are demo servers uh, with demo data you can use them for trial integrations before you actually integrate your MCP servers. I have just integrated the demo servers using the documentation and now let's take the agent for a spin. Let's specifically ask queries uh, that would force the agent to use the new demo MCP servers that we just integrated. And notice the responses. Again, these are dummy responses, but these are going to give you a fair idea as to how to integrate your own MCP servers with this agent and with the Google MCP servers. Now you are ready to integrate third-party MCP servers with Google MCP servers via pre-built agent. Alright, thank you very much and uh, please let us know your comments.